This is Banjo, and today I'll be demonstrating a form of air-to-air -air missile evasion known as drag defense, where I'll drag out the missile using the speed of my aircraft until the missile is no longer traveling at a speed capable of intercept. Evasion is guaranteed in medium and long-range launch situations, as the enemy missile will reach its top airspeed sometime around 8-10 seconds, but it will quickly bleed it off thereafter, at which point we can simply maneuver out of the path of the enemy's missile and set up for an attack or continue evading the rest of their missile battery. Next we'll skip just prior to launch. At this point I have the enemy aircraft locked up. We're both hot on each other, starting our attack on each other. At this point I'm just turning into the enemy to actually get eyes on them. At which point I'm not going to take my eyes off of them as each time I visually see a missile leave the rail of his aircraft I'm going to turn away from him engage my afterburner and burn away at my maximum speed. And here as I circle the cursor around we're able to see the enemy aircraft just off to my uh, 10 o'clock. And though it's hard to see in the video I can clearly see the missile leave his rail at which point I break away put the missile at my 6 and burn maximum power away from the missile. And I will turn back and visually see the missile coming in as I'm able to clearly see both the enemy aircraft that launched the missile as well as the missile coming in to intercept my aircraft. At this point, as we look behind my aircraft, we're able to clearly see the M120 coming in for intercept as well as the launching aircraft just off back to the left of it. At this point, I'll keep eyes on the missile until it's no longer capable of intercept, but more importantly, I'll also keep eyes on the enemy fighter. Once I'm certain I've defeated the enemy's missile, I'll begin to beam the enemy bandit, which will put me in a position where I can either press an attack or go defensive with equal ease. And as I begin to beam the enemy, we're able to see a second missile launch from his rails, at which point I'll repeat the process. And for those unaware of what beaming is, it's when you place the object, in this case the enemy bandit, at your 3 or 9 o'clock position. At this point, we're able to see as I drag out the second M120 that's fired against me, this time from a shorter range, although the result is the same, as this defense will work every single time so long as the range is not less than, say, 15 kilometers, at which point the missile may just be traveling faster than your aircraft at intercept. So these are things to bear in mind as the Russian FC-3 planes become significantly more dangerous in close range, so does the AIM-120. So bear this in mind, as short-range launches may require a high-G break, where a drag defense will simply get you killed. So the ability to tell range of an enemy contact without looking at radar, simply by looking out your window at them, is an imperative skill to have, as there are times when you will not want to take your eyes off the enemy. At this point, I'm fairly certain that I'm able to crank into the enemy and get a shot off before he is, so I begin to do so, and he fires a AIM-7 Sparrow at me, although I put chaff out in the climb, so it simply fails to track. At this point, I use vertical scan, hold target lock, pick up the enemy, and fire the adder, which is essentially the Russian's analog to the AIM-120 AMRAM, although in DCS it has its own problems. Here we're able to see the sparrow that failed to track, and we're also able to see the adder coming off my rails tracking towards his aircraft. These things will kill most aircraft at short ranges, although at long ranges, uh, their performance is less than desirable. At this point, with the enemy splashed, we will see this in tack view. At this point, we can see an overview of the track we just watched, this time in tack view perspective. Here we're able to see the first M120 launch as I break away from the missile, putting it at my 6, engaging full throttle, and burning away from it. It's at about this point that the missile has already reached its max speed and is beginning to bleed off its airspeed. This missile will never connect with my aircraft at this point. So as I drag out the missile for a few more seconds, I'll begin to beam the enemy bandit, at which point you'll see the change in aspect and likely fire again, at which point I can repeat the process. As I change my aspect towards the enemy bandit, we can see it forces them to fire again. This time it's 17 kilometers instead of 23 kilometers. Still plenty of time to drag out this missile. And with the second launch defeated, we're able to see a third AIM-120 launch, this time at 13 kilometers. These uh, launch ranges are starting to become quite close, which is becoming more and more dangerous to drag out. So this will be the last one that I drag out, at which point I will start an attack. Here I go into a climb out Ging, the third M120, and more importantly, placing me in a position where I can still evade if I have to, but more importantly, I can go offensive 
as I do, locking up the enemy aircraft and launching the R-77 Adder. The Adder travels for a few seconds, makes perfect intercept, and kills the enemy F-15. And that concludes this video on the drag defense.